the race between vaccines and variants is at a critical point because this third wave of the pandemic is coming on strong. The surge is largely driven by variants of concern, particularly B117, which was first detected in the United Kingdom. Health officials believe it is now the dominant strain in most regions, including Alberta. As of today, more than half of all the active cases in the province are variants of concern. Alberta has fewer restrictions than many parts of Canada. But as Heather Yerkes West explains, more and more Albertans are defying what public health orders are in place. On the first Sunday since RCMP erected a barrier around the Grace Life Church outside Edmonton, a crowd of hundreds gathered in protest. The church had been defying public health orders for months. Earlier in the day, a convoy of supporters set off from Calgary. By midday, the peaceful protest took a turn when a small number of people charged the barrier, tearing portions of the fence down. Just one of several recent acts of defiance against public health orders. On Tuesday, the Alberta government ordered an end to indoor dining. But by the weekend, places in Calgary, Edmonton and parts in between were refusing to close their doors. I just don't see the reasoning for it. And if I close again, I may never open again. We've had enough of this. It's not sustainable. We don't like where this is going. We cannot survive if we do another lockdown. My staff cannot survive. The reality is variants of concern are fueling exponential growth in Alberta. The B117 variant is now considered the dominant strain in the province, while the even more highly transmissible P1 variant is spreading fast. On Friday, Calgary had 13 reported cases. By Saturday, that number had grown to 70. Restaurants and churches, they've all been associated with large-scale transmission events. Um, that's the reality. So, you know, it's, it's imperative that, um, that, again, those settings are mitigated as much as possible. Alberta's premier, under pressure from more than a quarter of his caucus to open the economy further, has said that more restrictions could be necessary if current measures don't turn things around. Speaking on Saturday, Jason Kenney urged supporters of the Grace Life Church to take the virus seriously. My message to people of faith in particular would be if you believe in the sanctity of human life, please act accordingly. But once again, this faith community remained defiant, though for the first time in months, its service was held outdoors. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.